Saving Our Families. There's a documentary on National Geographic in which a buffalo is running through the wilderness. And all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, a wolf follows the buffalo. Buffalo is way ahead, but the wolf is pursuing the buffalo, running behind the buffalo. The buffalo's hoof sounds prevent him from hearing and seeing the wolf. When the, full, when the wolf finally reaches the buffalo, he launches himself on the air and bites the foot, the heel of the buffalo. Huge animal collapses, cascades to the ground, lifting up dust. He's wounded. He can no longer run. Then, within a couple of uh, within a couple of minutes, the wolf is not one wolf, but a pack of wolves. They surround the buffalo, eye the buffalo, study the buffalo, and they start to attack the buffalo. With their sharp teeth, teeth they dig into the buffalo, eating the buffalo. Within about ten minutes, there's no longer a buffalo, but rather the remains of the bones of the buffalo. This is a very impressive story of the buffalo being tricked and being killed and devoured by the wolves. We're living in a society where our children are being surrounded by buffalo, by, by wolves. A pornographic society. A society which promotes the killing of innocent babies. A society that has legalized same-sex unions. A society where vices of sensuality are rampant and spreading. A society in which God is pushed to the margin, if not totally eliminated. Our children have to be brought up and raised in this society such that they are surrounded by wolves. Our only salvation is we have to really love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We have to place God in the very center of our marriages and our families. This is the only solution. In other words, Jesus Christ has to be the good shepherd of our flock. He has to be the center so that we can be good shepherds to our flock. So let us love Christ. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall lack.